All right, thank you, Father, for a new day. Uh, dear viewer, I welcome you today, another mi uh, morning mist. We uh, do our prayers in this season, prayer and fasting, and I want to invite you to plug in, join in our prayers, and uh, the Lord will transform your life greatly. Therefore, uh, don't delay if you have not started praying with us, I welcome you to uh, start doing so because the Lord has got good plans for you. He cannot ask us to do something that is not beneficial. And so I welcome you. Thank you for being with us this morning. And I want us to just do uh, start doing our prayers as we do every morning. So uh, I want us to pray and just to thank God uh, in the next uh, 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 two or one minute before I introduce the scripture and God we bless your name you are a giver of life you are a giver of this day we are honored oh God to have you and to see this day oh God it is not our strength it is not our ability it is not our money but it is your grace and you are the giver of all things we appreciate you the Lord who gives us good things in life and so we worship you and we praise thy great name. Have your way. Do miracles and wonderful in, uh, things in our life. We worship you. Thank you for this day. Lead us and help us, empower us in the name of Jesus. We welcome you. Open the door of our heart that you may come on in. Direct our cause, empower us, lead us into the right way. In the name of Jesus Christ, strengthen our hand and everything that we do today. In the name of Jesus Christ, eliminate any weakness of any kind, my Father, and make our path become straight. Release your grace upon our life as we begin. Make your work be easy. In the name of Jesus, every activity and assignment that we have this day will never be burdensome because thou art the king and you are with us. So we worship you and we praise thee. You are highly exalted and you are lifted above all. So king, we glorify you and we adore you. You are the great I am, my father and my king. In the name of Jesus Christ, how we pray and believe. Amen, amen. Uh, dear viewer, I want to ask to pray. <clears throat> I want us to pray uh, from the book of Isaiah chapter 1 verses 18. The Lord says, come now, let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Sorry, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. So I want us to pray. Uh, this is a call of God, calling everyone to come in, calling each one to come in so that you can reason with God together. And that's the purpose of this season. God has made a call that everyone that has got any complaint, maybe there are things that are not running well in your life, come to him. He will show you the direction. He will interpret it to you. He will tell you what you should do and how to handle it. And so I want you, dear viewer, just to open up yourself to God. Open your heart to God and pour your heart into him uh, this morning before we engage on any other thing so that he can get access and now dwell in. Open your heart unto him so that he can get his space in your life and do that which, uh, I mean, you give him authority to start doing what is right and necessary. Maybe you don't have anyone to tell the issues that are burning inside you, but there is God that has opened up his arm to embrace you no matter where you are no matter what is happening in your life say that uh, even though your sins are, are, are as red as scarlet he is still calling you so let us uh, pray in the name of jesus christ father we come to you because of your call we take heed and obedient to your call my god and my king 
together with my viewer we are coming to you Jesus you are our sanctifier may you take away every hindrance and filth and guilty condemnation and sin and any other thing that has been standing oh God as a barrier between us and you God we thank you today is a new day and we thank you for providing access through the blood of Jesus we pour our heart before you find your place get your place get established in our life in the name of Jesus may your kingdom don't be established in our heart in our mind in our uh, activities to their plans in the name of Jesus we give you the first place in our life in this day oh God my father and my king we exalt them we trust in you we glorify you we honor you you alone you are able we believe your word in the name of Jesus May you, O oh God, turn around and, O oh God, and sanctify our heart, O oh God, and make us be vessels for noble uses in the name of Jesus. Make us become vessels, O oh God, for a perfect and good use in thy hand and for the kingdom purpose. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ that we will not be vessels that are poured out or rejected. You cleanse us, give us value in the name of Jesus Christ and connect us to your purpose concerning this day in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray take away every filthiness, take away every guilt, take away any other dark thing and the spot that can make us be, oh God uh, uh, become irrelevant. We pray in the name of of Jesus Christ may your help be with us today we come to you receive us oh God in your mercy receive us with your loving kindness that does not fail in the name of Jesus Christ we bless your name you alone you are the place of our help you alone you are the place of our strength you alone we pour our heart and we pray that may you receive our prayers before you today in the name of Jesus our King and Lord Almighty, because you are the one that reigns forever, the rock of ages, be magnified, lifted above all. My Father, make our life, O oh God, be easy. Take away loads of our heart. We come to you that we may find rest, direction, and a new course in the name of Jesus Christ, for thou art the only King that is lifted, waiting for us to come. Thank you, even for opening your arms to receive us. In the name of Jesus, we exalt Thee, that even after the end of this we shall not depart empty handed for you have good things concerning our life show us your good plans oh God show us the destiny that you have for us O oh King of glory be magnified and be lifted up we adore you and we honor you because you are the great I am in the name of Jesus we thank you we bless you we receive your forgiveness we receive your love in the name of Jesus thank you for you are instructing us so God in the way to go we believe in you king of glory thank you for your loving kindness thank you for your mercy so God thank you for your blessing that will not fail us our God and our father be magnified be lifted up on this day be exalted awesome God may your kingdom be lifted above any other kingdom in the name of Jesus we worship you we give you glory you are God and the master of everything. We bow down as we worship you, Lord. For King of kings, you remain. You are the Lord over our life. Reign in this season as we seek after thee. Reign in our life. Reign in our mind. Reign in our heart. Reign in our heart. Reign in our houses. Reign in our marriages. Reign in our business. Reign in our borders. Reign in our territories. In the name of Jesus we welcome you and we pray in the name of Jesus that your help shall be with us in every town that we make, in every stage, oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ, be glorified, Son of God. Be lifted above all. We magnify you. We are so grateful, oh God, for this new day that you are transforming our life and making us become better people than yesterday. In the name of Jesus, we pray 
praise thee. We lift you up on high. We magnify you. You alone, you are God like no other, doing new things in our life. There has never been one like unto thee. I thank you. I bless your name. I give you glory. All that we want is to worship you, to praise thee, to exalt thee, to adore you. In the name of Jesus Christ, master of everything, be glorified and be lifted for you are God and there is none like unto thee. Father, we thank you. Have your way and we bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. So dear viewer, turn with me to the book of uh, Philippians chapter 1, verses 6. Philippians chapter 1, verse 6. Philippians chapter 1, verse 6. Right there. Philippians chapter 1. Verses 6. Hallelujah. Glory be to the Lord God of Almighty, the King that reigns forever, the Master and the Most High, our God who will not fail us. is a faithful God. Philippians chapter 1 from verses 6. It says that, I'm being confident of this very thing, that he which has begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. Being confident of this very thing, that he which has begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. And this is uh, the prayer that I want us to pray from that scripture, that the Lord will give us grace to begin well as we are continuing in this season of prayer and fasting of 21 days. I invite you and I want you to be praying with us. And now I want us to pray that the Lord will give you grace to begin. There are many people that even beginning become a trouble to them. But I want us to pray that God gives us grace in the beginning season of this uh, prayer uh, season of 21 days that God give us grace to begin well, to begin well and not only to begin but also to continue well, continue in the race, continue in the race that you will not give up along the way, you will not falter you will not be broken, you will not be destroyed along the way, you will not be weak, you will not be sick but that you will continue and then that you will end successfully, that you will end successfully with us. Now I want us to pray for grace to begin, to continue and to win, uh, I mean to end well. So let us pray out of that scripture, the good work that he began in your life. God will not leave you along the way for yourself. God will not leave you along the way because he has called you for this race, for this assignment. So ask him for the grace to do that which has called us to do, to pray the way he wants want us to pray in the name of Jesus and Father. This is our prayer. It is your call as we read previously that come to me that we may reason together and we have hidden to you a call, O oh God, and therefore for these 21 days we are coming before you. I pray for grace in the name of Jesus. Some of us have never made any sacrifice to pray and fast for one day. Some have never done it three days. Some have never done it seven days. Some have never done it even two weeks. Others have never reached even that 21 days. But we pray for your grace, the enabling power, the divine enablement that enable people to do that which, oh God, they have never done before, that which flesh cannot do for them, that which flesh and cannot, cannot do for us. God, we cry unto you for grace to run our race, for grace to pray, for grace to seek after you, for grace to seek after your thoughts in the name of Jesus, begin with us. Begin with us, God. Begin with us in this season. Begin with us, God. Begin with us as a church. 
Begin with us as a church. Begin with us as a family. Begin with us, oh God. Begin with me, oh God, as an individual. I need your grace. I need the grace to begin. I need the grace to continue. I need the grace to end well. In the name of Jesus, we pray, we ask you, in the mighty name of Jesus, for the grace to continue, for the grace to continue, the grace to begin, and the grace to continue in the name of Jesus. Give us gra uh, grace to begin, oh God. I pray, my master, that as people are calling on your name, I'll also get a space to call on your name. God, in the name of Jesus, begin with us. Begin with me. Begin with us as we, oh God, start in the name of Jesus. Because you're the beginning, oh God, and the end, oh Lord. Begin this good work because prayer is a good thing. Begin with us, God. You are the initiator of every good thing, God. But so that every good gift cometh from there. As you initiate it, may you release your grace to carry us through. In the name of Jesus, strengthen us in our areas of weakness. In the name of Jesus, strengthen us in our area of weakness. Eliminate every destruction along the way. In the name of Jesus, appearing to us become the object of our faith in this particular season. In the name of Jesus, eliminate contenders for your place. In the name of Jesus, we pray, we pray. Grace to seek after thee. Grace, oh God, to stand in the place of prayer. In the name of Jesus, as a family, as a church, as an individual, oh God, we pray and we ask you that we will not fall or falter along the way. That will, the enemy will not outrun us. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, we ask you, the Lord, you are our strengthener, the one that strengthens the weak, the one that renewed our strength. We pray in the name of of Jesus Christ that our King and Master the great I am the author and the finisher of our faith may you begin that good work in us carry it through oh God in the name of Jesus may your will prevail against the contenders alongside the path in the name of Jesus my King and my Master may your grace prevail against flesh against carnality against the demon demand of our flesh in the name of Jesus against the demand of circumstances and situations around us in the name of Jesus silence the voices of destruction along the way in the name of Jesus we pray we pray we pray for grace from you in Jesus name we pray for grace from you we pray for grace from you upon my viewer upon the church members upon the leaders of the church upon the deacons, upon the present worship team, upon the ashes, oh God, upon the pastors, upon our bishop, in the name of Jesus, even the branches that are praying with us, in the name of Jesus, I pray, Master, in Jesus' name, and individuals that are joining online, Lord, I pray for your grace, in the name of Jesus, to seek after you, you say that seek after God, when he's still found, we pray, in the name of Jesus, that we receive grace from you. Grace to seek after you. Grace to seek after you. Grace to seek after you. In the name of Jesus, we pray that we will not get tired along the way. We will not be weakened along the way. In the name of Jesus, I pray, my God, when natural strength goes out, you take over. In the name of Jesus, we pray, we pray, we pray that we will not oh God, get tired or get one out at the first level, at the first stage of oh God. We pray in Jesus' name for strength that takes people to a successful ending in the name of Jesus. So King, we rely on your help. We rely on your strength. We rely on your anointing. We rely on your grace. We rely on your hand. We rely on you, O oh Lord Jesus. For without you, we can do nothing. We pray for a source of strength in the name of Jesus that will take us yonder. In the name of the Lord that will take us yonder. We pray, we pray for strength, O oh God, to continue. No 
not only to begin, but to continue also in the name of Jesus. As we continue in business, we continue in prayer. As we continue in daily activity, we continue in prayer in the name of Jesus, giving us, creating a space for us in the name of Jesus to seek after you in the multitude of activities. The Bible says that you make it a way where there seems to be no way. You created a space where there seems to be no space. You create a room where there seems to be no room in the name of Jesus. My King and my Master create a space for us. Even then they are reporting to work between morning 8 or God even to 5 or some that are working extra. We pray that even in the midst of all this we will still get chance to seek after thee. To commune after with thee oh God. To seek after your thought. To design and know your mind. To pray in the name of Jesus Christ. And King, we ask you even for grace to finish well, that none of us will finish weak. None of us will finish, oh God, with the shame. None of us will finish with the sickness. None of us will finish with complication. In the name of Jesus, thy hand and thy grace that sustains the weak, that preserve the sick children of Israel along the way for 40 years, oh God. May all also, oh God, preserve us in this particular time in the name of Jesus we pray, we pray we pray, we pray in the name of Jesus that you'll carry us through to a successful ending because you're the beginning and the end you hold our future you hold our destiny and we believe in you King Jesus you are great and greatly to be praised there is no other God like unto thee you are the help that we count on. You are the great I am. You are the Father of Almighty. We bless you, Son of God, in the name of Jesus. As you do great things in our life, be magnified and be exalted. In the name of Jesus Christ, God, we pray. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. I want us to continue in the same uh, prayer. I want us to go to the book of Esther, chapter 4, verses 13 and 14. Esther, chapter 4, verses 13 and 14. Esther, chapter 4. Esther, chapter 4. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. He will perform his promises. Esther chapter 4. Uh, from verses 13 and 14. Then Mordecai commanded to answer Esther. Think, think not with thyself that thou shalt escape in the king's house more than all the Jewish. For if you all together holdest thy peace at this time, then shall there and then shall there enlargement and deliverance arise to the Jewish from another place, but thou and thy father's house shall be destroyed, and who knoweth whether thou art come to the kingdom for such a time as this? And dear viewer. Uh, as we pray, it is not only important to pray, but it is important to know the purpose of God concerning this particular time so that you don't just pray aimlessly, so that you don't just pray without a target. God is not an author, an author of confusion. He knows what you ought to pray for in, yours, in this particular time. And he knows what each one of us need or how we need to pray. So I want us to ask God that you will not miss in the, the, the purpose of this particular time, the purpose for this season. The purpose of this season may come so strong unto you and to your heart that beyond doubt you will know what you ought to do. You'll know how to pray, what to ask for, or the direction that the Spirit of the Lord is leading 
you into. So I want us to pray that you will design, understand. God will empower you to know, understand and design the purpose of this time, the purpose of this season. Why has God called us to pray in this particular time? Why are we praying? What is the mind of Christ? What does he want us to do? What is his clear purpose concerning your life in this particular time? So I want us to pray that you'll not miss the purpose of this time. You'll not miss the purpose of this time currently. General purpose is that we may seek after God, that you'll not miss him. As people are seeking God, you'll not miss him. As every individual, families, marriages, uh, and people from different areas, even them that are joining us online, as they seek God, you will not miss him. You will not miss this opportunity because God works in season, in turns. He works in season, so you will not miss your season. Who knows? Could be it is your season of transformation. It is your season of turning to another person, to a different dimension, to a different level. So I want you to pray dearly unto God that you will not miss the purpose of this time. Don't be in hurry. Just pour your heart and let it be like the only chance that you have to decide between life and death, to decide between your destiny and, uh, uh, and, and, and not reaching there. I want you just to pray and concentrate even wherever you are that the Lord's purpose for this particular time will not miss your life. In the name of Jesus and God, we bless you. You are the author of seasons and time. The Bible says that you change season and time. And therefore it has pleased you for this particular time that you, O oh God, call us or make a call that we may seek after you, O oh God, as new birth. I pray, my Father, to you in the name of Jesus that you will reveal unto us the purpose of this particular time that we may pray according to your will, according to your plan, according to your eternal purpose in the name of Jesus we counsel and say no to every sabotaging spirits, voices that may speak contrary to your will oh God concerning this particular time we say no because we receive grace in the name of Jesus to continue We've received grace to say no to every ungodliness according to the book of Titus. So we ask you, oh God, break out every evil scheme and may you help us to discern the purpose of this particular time in the name of Jesus. May it be revealed unto us what, oh God, you are doing in this season. The Bible says in the book of First Chronicles chapter, oh God, 32 verses 11, chapter 11 verses 32 that the sons of Issachar they were the people who understood the time and what the children of Israel ought to do in that particular season we pray that you reveal to us the purpose of this season that will not miss your word that will not miss your direction that will not miss your counsel that will not miss your instruction in this particular time Lord we pray that you speak to us in the name of Jesus in our Lowest, lowest moment in our day some of us oh God may not be in their high places that some of us may not be in their a good position but we cry to you in the name of Jesus that you cause us to discern the purpose of this season reveal to us the purpose of these prayers in the name of Jesus reveal to us even our spiritual condition in the name of Jesus what we ought to do God in the name of Jesus and wisdom on how to do it my master and my God we pray we pray in the name of Jesus open our eyes of understanding may we discern the purpose of this season. May we not miss your move. May we not miss your direction. May we not miss your voice. May we not miss your instruction. In the name of Jesus, I pray, I pray in the name of Jesus, like Bala missed what you are saying in that particular time. Lord, I pray, circumstance, we will hear your voice through situation events and any happening around. May we hear your voice through the word. Be 
read through songs or people that speaks around us whether through children God we are determined to hear you we are determined to tap into your grace for this particular time in the name of Jesus and we refuse to miss your grace and I refuse oh God to miss the opportunity in the name of Jesus I refuse to remain low I refuse to remain in Lodiba I refuse to remain in the palace in the time when you do new things in the time when you give people victory in the time when you give your sons victory we pray in the name of Jesus that we shall not be left behind in the name of Jesus our family sons and daughters shall not be left behind our pastors shall not be left behind our leaders shall not be left behind in the name of Jesus our present worship team shall not be left behind in the name of Jesus the God that revealed himself unto us may you reveal yourself we call on your name we call on your name we call on your name Jesus in a mashada bagada la bosha lebre kamandera bohaida reveal your purpose reveal your purpose for this particular time reveal your purpose reveal your move reveal your direction for us reveal your word in a mashakada bohada you are a speaking God you will not oh God close your ears from our prayer as we seek after thee in the name of of Jesus reveal your plan reveal our destiny God and to us reveal to us our next step reveal the plan of God concerning our life in this particular time Jesus son of God we call on you you are the king like no other be magnified be lifted above all because you are the one that reigns on high there has never been God like you and we pray in Jesus name reveal your movement in a shadabo kamiha lebro shakataba shadabo dale mandele bosha you promise that the day we seek you with all our heart you shall be found we pray that you manifest on our ways manifest yourself into our heart manifest yourself into us as we seek after you diligently king thou art the reward order of them uh, that seek you diligently. We pray Shadabo uh, Shakrabehaya reward our faith uh, reward our thirst uh, reward our desire reward our prayers reveal yourself. Uh, connect us to the purpose of this season uh, order our steps uh, in the name of Jesus reveal to us oh God uh, by your spirit in Jesus name and so God we bless you you are the most high there has never been God like unto thee be magnified you alone you are worthy you alone you are king you alone you reign you alone you are the God we praise thy name we exalt thee we give you glory we lift you up on high in the name of Jesus reveal oh God thyself give us grace to walk with you give us grace to tap into your power us for this particular time give us grace give us grace give us grace oh some God in the name of Jesus give us grace to run the race for this particular time give us grace to win the battles for this particular time give us grace son of God give us grace you give grace to the weak give us grace to win the territories that we ought to win this particular time give us grace son of God, thou art the altar of this particular season. Every season and time has got its purpose. Reveal and connect us to the purpose of this time. In the name of Jesus, Shadaboshe Prekatalamandalaboha, be magnified. God who heareth and answereth prayers, we bless you. We honor you, King. In the name of Jesus Christ. We honor you and we give you glory. Be magnified and be lifted up on high. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. I want us to pray one more time. One more time, the book of Jeremiah. One more time in the book of Jeremiah. I want us to pray one more time in the book of Jeremiah. 
Jeremiah, the book of Jeremiah, sorry. In the name of Jesus Christ, Jeremiah chapter 23 verses 29, Jeremiah 23 verses 29, Jeremiah 23, 29. Jeremiah, dear viewer, your life shall never be the same again with God getting involved in your life. Jeremiah chapter uh, 23, verses 29. It says that is not my word like a fire, says the Lord, and like a hammer that breaketh the rock in pieces. Is not my word like as fire, says the Lord, and like a hammer that breaketh the rock in pieces. And I want us to pray out of that scripture, dear viewer, wherever you are, that the Lord will release his word into our heart to break every obstacle that is hindering his will in our life. That the word of the Lord will be translated into hammer to break rocky thoughts that have been hindering the will and the plan of God from manifesting and taking place in our life. Maybe rocks of self, rocks of traditions. There is a way you have planned yourself to do things and therefore God has got no place in your life. Traditions and cultures, there is a way that you do things in your family or in your lineage or in your tribe or in the environment where you are, there are that God cannot find his way in your life. I want us to pray that God will break such rocky things in your mind that have taken you captive, that he can not find a space in you that his word will come to you as a hammer to break and as a fire to burn any chaff, any uh, dirt, anything that is contrary to his plan and his will concerning your life so that his mind and his will will take shape in your life after this season. So join me in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth wherever you are, whether on the street, put your earphone and pray, whether you are driving or you are in your office, wherever you are, right in your house, you just plug in, pray with us. God is a spirit and we don't have to move in a particular place only. Just plug in and the grace of God will be poured upon your life in the name of Jesus. Jesus and God, we thank you for your word in the name of Jesus. We open ourselves, oh God, for your word to come in. Your word to come in. Your word to come in my mind. Your word to come in my mind in the name of Jesus and break every contender's rock that have been stuck in my mind, that have been making me to think in a certain direction, that have been making me to think only in a certain direction. God God, I pray, release your word into my soul. Release your word into my mind to bring transformation, to renew me in the direction that you want me to take. Bible say in the book of Genesis chapter 15, when Abraham thought that the inheritor shall only be Eliezer, you released your word and told him that go yonder, past the tent. Your word is able to push us beyond the limitation of our mindset, beyond the limitation, oh God, of our cultures, beyond the limitation of tradition, in the name of Jesus. And when he obeyed, you showed him now, look up. I pray in the name of Jesus, may your word come upon our life and command, oh God, breakthroughs in the name of Jesus, destroying every traditional rocks, every selfishness, oh God, that has been contending with your voice in our life we pray in Jesus name every selfishness oh God that has been contending with your voice and your will in our services in our ministry in our church in our ministry in our family in our marriages God we pray in the name of Jesus 
Release your word. Release your word. Like a hammer to break every contending things, every contending voices in the name of Jesus. Break every argument in my mind in the name of Jesus. I pray, oh God, break every cycle of that word of God. Break every cycle. It is that word that commanded progress in our life when you spoke to Moses and said, I've been around this mountain for long. Now break forth and make progress. How we pray the word of God that breaks every rock that has been a barrier of against our progress be broken by the authoritative word of God because you are the king whose word has power. Speak your word into my heart. Speak your word into my space. Speak your word into my marriage. Speak your word into my mind. Break every other opposition in the name of Jesus. Break every other barrier in the name of Jesus. Lord, we seek after thee. May you speak your word. And to our soul, we bless you, we honor you, we exalt thee and we adore you, we magnify you, we glorify you. You are the most high. There is no one else like God to thee. God, our master, we pray that in this season of our prayer and fasting, we shall receive the word that breaks every other thing that has been contending with your voice in our life. Ela Shadabo Kama, every disobedient to your voice be broken by the word of God in the name of Jesus we submit ourselves to the power of your word it is thy word that is the power that bringeth salvation it is our wisdom in it is that commanded a progress in our life and so awesome God we pray in the name of Jesus we give glory to thee we lift you up on high you hear it when we call and our God speak unto us speak unto us reveal your word release Rema word from heaven in the name of Jesus open the floodgate of your word may we oh God receive that word of life may we receive that word of life breaking every tradition breaking every doubt breaking every lies that has oh God been tearing in our heart in the name of Jesus and master we pray thee. We lift you up on high. Speak your word in this season that in these 21 days oh God, we shall not miss your word. We shall not miss your word. We shall not remain the same. We shall not remain in the same way. In the name of Jesus, we will not give interest to other things that are contrary to you. You are the only true God. We focus into the king. Be magnified. Be lifted up. Be a exalted king be glorified son of God we love you in the name of Jesus we ask you this because we know by faith that you have a word for us in this particular time every individual each one of us you have a word for us you have a word for my destiny you have a word for my marriage you have a word for my business you have a word for my ministry you have a word for this church you have a word for us, God. In a shadaba kalehaeda, yode pesheke te bidalamaga, yandere rebo shakata bahaya. In the name of Jesus, let heaven release your word. In the name of Jesus, that shall not be hindered from reaching us, O oh God, whether by circumstance or around us. In Jesus' name, and we worship you, King. Be exalted and be lifted. In the name of the Lord. King of glory be magnified because you reign and there has never been one like you. In Jesus' name, be glorified, be glorified, be glorified. In the name of Jesus, we worship you. We give you glory in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God, our King and Master of everything, the one that is in charge over all circumstances and situation. Father, we bless you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. <coughs>
We are continuing to pray. <coughs> Acts chapter 12, verses 5. Acts chapter 12, verses 5. Could be our last uh, prayer item. Acts chapter 12, verses 5. Hallelujah. Acts chapter 12, verses 5. Ah. Uh, Let's start from verse 1. Now about that time Herod the king stretched forth his hand to vex certain of the church. And he killed James, the brother of John, with the sword. And because he saw it pleased the Jewish, he proceeded further to take Peter also. Then were the days of unleavened bread. And when he had apprehended him, he put him in prison and delivered him to four quaternions of soldiers to keep him, intending after Easter to bring him forth to the people. Verse 5, but therefore was, sorry, verse 5, Peter therefore was kept in prison, but prayer was made without ceasing of the church and to God for him. And I don't want to read the entire story. This time there was a persecution against the disciples of Jesus Christ. And whenever the Jewish government would hear people were talking about Jesus, they would take them and take them to jail, the government of that season. And the Bible said that they took James and killed him. And now when the remaining disciples were continuing, they came for Peter also, who was their leader. But the Bible says that as he was taken to prison, the church made prayer. The people that were outside there made prayer. And when they made prayer, the evil was not repeated. God intervened. And I want us to pray that as we pray in this season, the God's hand, the Lord's hand shall come into your life and intervene in your situation, in your life. The intention of the enemy shall not prevail. The intention and the plans of the enemy shall not prevail. He came in the same standard, in the same level, intending to kill Peter also. But when he came, he found that God had raised the standard of his operation above him. And so I want us to pray that God will raise his standard. Sickness, when they come, they will not affect your life. After this prayer, any trouble and the arrows that the enemy will try to throw at you will not be able to affect you because God is raising your standard. God is intervening into your situation. God will give you an outrageous outcome that you never expect. No human being can offer it. Only God will do it. Every chain will break. Every barrier will be broken. Every door shall open up as we pray. So let us pray that as we are continuing, God is doing great thing. In the name of Jesus, take some few minutes and pray with us in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we are thanking you this morning, oh God, because we are worshiping you, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, whose kingdom has got no end. You are not a molded image. God, we are not neither even a sounding brass that we are praying, oh God, amiss. We are directed by your word and your call. Therefore, we are making prayer to you in this particular time. Oh God, even for our our brothers, our parents, our sisters, relatives, and even the fellowship members, and even our own life, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that the hand of the enemy shall not prevail against our life. The hand of the devil, the hand of the wicked one, shall not prevail against our life, shall not prevail against our marriages. The intention of the enemy be broken. As we continue in prayer, let our children be healed. In the name of Jesus, let the bands of the enemy be broken. In the name of Jesus, let every chain fall apart. In the name of Jesus, let the, oh God, the congregation of the enemy be scattered. In the name of Jesus, as we call on your name, the expectation of the evil one, oh God, it shall not be fulfilled in our life. You raise the standard of our operation, oh God, of our faith 
faith in the name of Jesus Christ that the enemy will not find us in our weak point because we have a helper God who raises the standard in the name of Jesus we pray in the name of Jesus in for there is God in heaven who hear it when we call in Jesus name that as we pray oh God as a church as individual as a family in the name of Jesus Christ let there be breakthrough on every side of our life in the name of Jesus in the inn oh God in the cell oh God in the name of Jesus prisons of sicknesses prisons of poverty prison oh God of cultures in the name of Jesus prisons oh God of unnecessary ideology be broken in the name of Jesus. We thank you. May you liberate your people. Then that you set free Jesus. Become free indeed. We pray in Jesus name. Let there be liberty that is caused oh God by your intervention in Jesus name. So we praise thee and we love you. We honor you oh king in Jesus name. We give you glory. You hear it when we call. You will never fail us. You are a faithful God. We praise your name. We lift you up on high. You alone, you are worthy. My King, receive glory. Thank you for answering our prayer. Today is a different day. In the name of Jesus, we are walking in your grace. We operate in your grace. In the name of Jesus, I thank you for new strength. I thank you for new peak. I thank you for new newness, oh God. In the name of Jesus. We thank you for a shift in our lives in the name of Jesus for breaking everything that has been contending with your will, plan and promises in our lives. Be magnified and be lifted up on high for you are God like no other. We thank you and we exalt thee. My God and my King, be glorified, be lifted up, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Even as we continue, oh God, in the remaining days, carry us through. May we ride under the wings, oh God, on the wings of your grace, in the name of Jesus, that it shall never be burdensome to any one of us. God, I thank you, because you give grace, oh God, unto them that you have called in the name of Jesus it will not be longer than the grace that you give us it will not be burdensome we worship you because you're making it easy be magnified and be lifted for breakthrough that we are oh God seeing and we will start hearing we thank you we thank you in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior receive glory and honor amen and amen and amen Dear viewer, uh, I want to appreciate you for being with me for those minutes that are gone. Praying is important. And uh, don't fail to join us again tomorrow morning. We are continuing until something happens into your life because our God is a faithful God and he will not change his purpose concerning this life he has purpose to bless you he has purpose to bring direction and order and connections in your life and so he will do so so continue with us as we uh, uh, pray in this season in jesus name your life shall never never be the same again i want to give this opportunity for someone that want to give his life to jesus this is the only way he is the door that leadeth and to eternal life you don't have any other way even us we just entered into the kingdom through him so just repeat after me quickly before i get out uh in jesus name say after me lord jesus i need you in my life therefore i come to you receive me accept me and make me become your son i ask for your forgiveness and sanctify me qualify me for your blessing and may I be your responsibility. From now onwards, I am yours and I have received you as my personal savior. In Jesus' name, amen. So if you've just confessed that, then you are a new creature. Now the Lord has saved you and your life has been transformed. 
look for any Bible believing church around you and they will help you how to grow. And if you're interested, you can uh, 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 use our numbers on uh, down there and you will call us. We will also like to hear about you and uh, we will help you where necessary. If you're in the city, you are as well welcome to our services uh, in Siokimau and you call that number, you'll get more direction. So God bless you and I call anyone uh, that is now want to give, it is important to give, it is important to give, it is important to give. I don't have time to explain, but you throw what you have, your offering, your vows to God so that the Lord will bless you and will channel resources into your barns, you'll never lack anything. So give to us that pay bill number down there and the Lord will transform and bless you richly. May I pray for you in Jesus' name, Father, I thank you for dear viewer, bless his life. Bring transformation that cannot be rubbed away. Make him or her be a testimony around his peers, around the people around his life. In the name of Jesus, I thank you for this day. Successful, bless their business, his work, and whatever they are doing. Those who are looking for a job, you are opening doors for them. Give them an uncommon idea, and may your blessing manifest in their life. We thank you. You are great, and be magnified. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you till tomorrow, same time. Your life is never the same again. Amen.